My name is George Gerfels. I am a, uh, at the moment I'm a PhD student in Brussels of Blanco. And uh, here I intend to discuss with you uh, a paper that I have written in the beginning of this year. And uh, I have already discussed this, this idea, uh, let's say, last year, 2000, 2014, twice in, in one short talk in a, in a summer school about the mathematical model in biology organized by Chin and the another organization at Chin and Chin. I'm not quite sure about the second one, but the, the second one is Chin, the first one is Chin. And uh, I have as well discussed in a poster in Como Lake. And uh, both of them, I, uh, I thought people was extremely in doubt about the, what I want to say, and I think it's like it's normal because everything that is trivial and simple is difficult to understand. And I'm not, I'm not doing here, here. I'm not doing trying to do here in mystery or trying to propose anything like out of the blue. What I'm trying to propose is something that it kept coming to my mind. Uh, let's say I always wish to say that I'm a kind of. A, double scientist in the mathematical, mathematical community because I have been taught with mathematician itself, applied mathematician, even theoretical mathematician. At the same time, I have been taught with people from computational intelligence, neural network, fuzz system, and so on. And the, uh, I saw a pattern that was that uh, a pattern that is very common. People that in general work with, with comput computational intelligence are not very friendly with mathematics, and they most likely did not even work there. They just apply computational intelligence. People that are from applied math, they are not very familiar or very friendly with computational intelligence, and this create a kind of uh, prejudice between the community, between two kind of of community. The scientific community that are solving the same problem we use different techniques that could be uh, blended. Each of them are strong on their own way. Techniques from computational intelligence are very good to solve problems that, uh, that does not have a shape, such as uh, classification of pattern, uh, identification of speed, uh, and so on. However, all of this are that in general is, 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 is worked using using computational intelligence, they already have some kind of mathematics behind, but people in general, they neglect. At the same time, uh, let's say, people that are trying to solve a very strong problem in, in, in physics and mathematics, they forget that you have a computer. Such as one example was, one, uh, one example I found by accident when I was doing my master, and the, I asked a professor to go to the lab and to make some experiment, and I have done some x-ray measurement of the trivial, trivial, trivial materials, uh, the, the kitchen salt and the graphite and so on. And the, I was, uh, the first time I, 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 I saw the images coming out from the machine and the, as well I had, of course, the uh, crystallography uh, before, I mean, in the, my master, that's why I asked to go to the lab. And the, it kept coming to my mind to be it would be very interesting to apply computational intelligence. And I was surprised that I could not find anything in the literature in the way I wanted. I mean, of course, uh, in the odd way, you can find already work in the literature, uh, people applying computational intelligence to identify, uh, identify uh, material defects by X-ray image. But my idea was not that. My idea was to use it to understand the the structure because you know, the the applying mathematical model is very complicated. I can tell because I have done the calculation, and it's very very difficult. And it's still not uh, it's, it's still, that, uh, that's one one of the drawback of mathematics and applied math. They are very difficult, very complicated, and they cannot be applied to general model. At the same time, computational intelligence in general. I'm talking about uh, natural computation, artificial literature, all of them, they are very strong to, to general case. But they, but, uh, but they suffer from several problems, such as you cannot prove convergence, 
you cannot do all the nice stuff that math is able to do so you you you, you create a kind of a, a kind of double sided literature let's say literature that one is based on strong math the other is based strong on artificial intelligence and the, this uh, this this uh, dichotomy that is, is happening in, uh, in the literature uh, the, at the moment on applied mathematics for me is a ma is a matter of the of it of the some level ignorance in some level terrorism in some level uh, whatever you want to call people are dividing the, the scientists in the way to solve the problem in such a way that's supposed not to be done uh, I, I, I always say say that the important to solve the problem. If you are able to solve the problem, you should not be have no, have no prejudice about uh, which technique you are applying. But I see, I feel it that people have it. People have it mainly, mainly because it's very easy for you to say uh, there is a, a a a folk folk wisdom that I'm not quite sure. Where, do, where where that come from? I heard that in my country for the first time. But in, in general, the the old the the wisdom is like this: if you have a hammer, a, ha a hammer, everything for you is a nail. So you try to to hammer everything. So if you uh, if you if you know a technique, you try to apply it everywhere. So it's a it's a drawback. It's a very bad serve. So. My my motivation in order to try to propose this paper and the, to propose this technique and so on was exactly to attempt to try to to propose that uh, that people start to be more flexible in the, in this case uh, and the, I mean we're talking about talking about not not about oh, let's say. A, a senior experienced scientist I'm talking about the young people if you if, if you train the people in the if you're the wrong mind you keep it forever so you, you should start changing the mind before you you uh, you can uh, you can achieve better better result in the, in the scientific in the scientific literature. I, I, I have left the paper this paper available by the research gate. I recently start to work on my on my page and, and anyway on my research gate I I was not using this uh, this I, I I found that interesting so as you see I'm 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 led by step by step you are welcome to visit wherever you you, you want I'll be glad to hear anything you want any feedback. So, since its foundation, computational energy has been uh, created a novel high perspective model. Uh, I mean, uh, the main, the main, uh, let's say, the main advantage, the main, uh, let's say, the main boom, the main strong point of artificial intelligence is that it it, it does not have the drawback in general of the of the of the mathematics and the. The mathematics in general they are based on a specific problem. You have a problem, you know how to solve that problem. In, in, in the best case, they can be they, they do generalization, but still, uh, the energy cannot be applied everywhere. One example, my opinion is quantum mechanics. If you take the the Schrodinger equation, the equation from the electron, the famous uh, of the German scientist, for the in which he treats he treats every electron as a as a wave function as a wave of potential function and that in theory that the equation that was, which is extremely simple supposed to be applied everywhere that was the the idea of his equation it's supposed to be applied everywhere so uh, uh, c is a is a function which is a wave function in, you know, of the electron. It's supposed to be applied everywhere. However, it it's, it does not happen because it's very complicated. And the, from the computational point of view, it makes itself almost impossible to be solved. And I know because I have I have uh, studied that in, in my master. And the, so, it's a very beautiful mathematical theory, and I, I love it. But however, it has a lot of limitations. I even saw some works people apply computational intelligence to quantum mechanics. I'm not very familiar with this kind of application, 
but it seems that they were able to find very nice techniques. So I, I really wonder what would happen if people tried to to gather this classical quantum mechanics with the new techniques from, from computational intelligence. Of course, I think it will take a lot of a lot of time for people to start to to really take serious kind of endeavor because uh, computational intelligence is is what I like to call blind model and uh, it is completely blind. It does not it, it does not like to have uh, any uh, theoretical strong background behind, but it solves the problems in in a kind of magical way. So uh, in the paper that you can up, you can download from the page of the from the from the, from the, from the research cage page, you can download the full paper. You can even take a look at uh, the paper if you want. I I discuss the methodology and propose it as a as a as a state of as a let's say as a methodology that can be applied. My main motivation is that uh, it's not uh, uh, my this not proposing a new technique in the sense. My 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 main motivation is to gather what it has already in the literature and destroy this this dichotomy between this uh, dichotomy between computational intelligence and the applied math and make them one. I think the main motivation is the one that can really gain from this kind of. Uh, of endeavor are the students that they they, 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 are, they will be able to be trained if we already from the beginning if it's kind of double mind not necessarily try to be extremely mathematician need to try to be extremely uh, computational intelligence scientist so they they will have a uh, new way a new perspective to see uh, the, the problems of the engineering like uh, approach So, uh, so as I said, method is comprised of, of an attempt to use Hamilton's method and computational intelligence, a single picture, use kind of blindness of model. And this, this idea of blindness is trying to quantify and uh, trying to to um, to make it clear for people how limited is your model in the sense of uh, having a picture of reality. And uh, they have this concept of the uh, black box and the white box, and the, uh, I have been seeing a lot of people using this more this kind of concept, uh, this kind of concept all of my scientific life, and uh, I I believe I see that people they 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 do not use it in the same way. So you, you, we need to start to to try to find a to find a common place to find to try to 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 make a, a standard between this kind of use for this kind of the concept of a gray model as well gray model as well you you cannot you do not find a beautiful I, people they see it in different way i have not seen for them two kind of gray model uh, people people from computational intelligence they say gray model in a way if you want people from applied math they see the model in another way even applied math you can find the two type of gray models and, and this kind of thing uh, giving name to a kind of model doesn't necessarily have a standard or have well, not necessarily, necessarily having a, a common place that everyone can understand can be very dangerous. So uh, the the principle that I, I like to call is called the midway approach. The, the midway out approach. It it is a, a let's say a philosophy that I found in a book about system biology, and I really liked it. And that's what I had in mind for a long time. That's why I adopted. So because is it is it, it's already what I, I want to say for a long time about what's happening in literature when it comes to applied math. Unfortunately, I have not yet applied this methodology in a true problem because mainly because it takes time and the, this, uh, I have not so far succeeded to take it as my main stream. Um, so far it has been just a background work. It's a let's say a side effect of my of my of my research of all, all, all of my research so far. And uh, I really hope that uh, I will be able to do it, or maybe somebody else interested could uh, give me a hand to make it more more plausible if we if, if practice them. That's one of, one of the the criticism, uh, the questions I got, for example, in Como Lake, 
no, i soli in centrale, no, cioè in Levico, in Trento, Italy. So uh, I conclude the paper. I mean, I, I, the, the slides are I intend to be smaller than the original work. So if you are interested, I I advise you to to take a look in the, the paper. And the paper, even the paper, is short because let's say I'm still working on the ideas, and the, I do not feel confident yet to make a big publication. The uh, maybe if not if it not be even if be accepted because all literature. That's one of the criticisms we will have about the, the, our scientific work. They will always worry about the, some kind of specific type of work. If everyone goes out of the box, they have to get it's very difficult to publish a paper. I, I sometimes I, it will make it will freak me out the way our scientific work is is is, is working. So anyway, but it, the way the system the system runs, so there's nothing they can do. So let's say the the key. Concept is system biology, system medicine, system pharmacology, mathematical model, computational intelligence. The skill words are, are tricky because it's not easy to choose a key word for your work, but that was the one that was, I believe, influenced me the most. So, uh, as, as, uh, as we have discussed in the abstract, so I divide it between the what I call the knowledge-based model. Knowledge-based model means that your model is not built for math. It's built for, for, for knowledge, like in the brain. When you learn how to play the guitar, you learn by experience. You, 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 you have some kind of knowledge and you try to make it by yourself so until you do it right. So it, it, it is the main, the main idea behind computational intelligence, such as neural network. You have uh, experiment. That's what is motivating me a lot because uh, every model in in in, in, in physics and in any any area of the of the applied engineering, you you are always based on experiment somehow. Even if you do not use the experiment when you are designing your your model, which you, in this case you call you can call it a a, a bottom up. They call it a bottom up approach. Uh, you can see the computational intelligence is a top down approach. In the sense that you are more worried about how the system works, then you design the model, then design the model, then to see how the system works. So both of them can be drawbacks, can have drawbacks, can have problems, and can be can can have the, the strength and the weakness. So I uh, applied math in the same perspective is a is a is applied math in the sense that you you trying to design what what people like to call the first principles so they're pretty such as the laws of newton and the, they are based on precise and big laws and the however uh, that was in that biology uh, biologic system in the general suffer recently i was i mean, I, I i found a paper by accident and the, I intend to come back if this uh, maybe you know, if a short if you about this paper and this paper somehow support my work I believe because the the author trying to to somehow to bring down the this idea that biology has to respect the laws of physics the way it is and the author uh, shows that there are several cheap type types of generalization and in this paper. The author tried to propose a methodology in which he, uh, you, you have several types of generalization. Biology has its own way. And uh, this kind of a, a, a applied math in general has been designed for, for, for physics, not for biology. So uh, it's difficult, not to say possible, to, um, to design a mathematical model in the way that he is done in physics because the homog the heterogeneous the heterogeneous uh, characteristic of the biologic of soft matter of 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 living matter is very is, is very different from 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 physics so I believe for a while it would be possible but sometimes I think that it would be a big mistake to try to make biology the same way that he, uh, Fisk has already has been done a while. Fisk has it, Fisk has already evolved. It the way you see Fisk today, it, it, it was not the way it was in the beginning. If you see from the Greek, uh, the Greek time until Newton, 
and the ice and so on physics has been changed a lot so why biology has to be so uh, closed closed close up why it has to respect all this kind of old idea biology is a, is a young science and has a lot of, a lot yet to evolve and i believe this kind of technique they propose here to be very strong for for volleyball is mainly because uh, you have no reason to expect that biology has to to behave the way that physics the, that physical system has 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 been behaved but it does not mean that there is no law it just just mean that the laws need a different mathematical model a mathematical formulation so uh, but it, it's something that you can even see for yourself on papers on like that to uh, points that the classical uh, traditional of mathematical phase is where uh, computational intelligence in general is able to accomplish the best results so uh, at the same time i think it's like it's it's, it's like it's craziness it's like it's senseless to to forget the all the lessons of mathematics they are very important they are very interesting i like it a lot and uh, so that is very simple where mathematics works well let it work and where the computational intelligence works you let it work but uh, sometimes they are talking about the same problem and uh, such as optimal control you have today what is called the um, uh, intelligence control intelligence control is based on uh, is based on uh, is based on uh, computational intelligence optimal control is based on control theory and even control theory is based on the on the linear algebra and so on old math uh, however a uh, buffer of the community computational intelligence and the control of the con and control control theory community in general are solving the same problem why not the uh, tie in the hands why not the uh, help each other and i believe it's already happened in literature, but very timid, very small. And my ambition would be try to help this movement uh, to to go to appear to get stronger. So, uh, such as, for example, if you take the adaptive future future, which I this book here I make the reference was published by a strong guy from come from near network, so. You see that it, it already exists some movement or try to to make this kind of hybrid approach. But I, however, I, by reading the book of the of Zopa, which is a very respected guy author in the era, I still feel that they are still very afraid to propose the big picture. Mainly because I believe that he, uh, no, uh, you cannot expect just one group or, or, or one scientist to make all the job. You have to uh, take the where someone stop and go on that that's what's called reference when you make a referential paper of someone you try to say that the guy who had has the, the the group have done uh, good work so far and now you you want to go on of that same kind the same that same line of research so So as you see, you have here uh, a anonymous approach in, uh, that you, you 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 have measurement of the world system, or you you start to to design principles in the make your world. So it's it's not a news and people everyone respect the idea that you can either start from theoretical background or you can uh, go for an experiment. So you just build the mod, so it's not a, a missing data at all. So, uh, as I have mentioned uh, before, uh, I, I, I like to call this the midway out approach, which is and which was inspired by by some movements in system biology. And so uh, I I I like to think that as a big picture, but uh, as always, you need to, to to show some 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 practical example. I think the the simplest example is what I have called the parallel or the sequential approach. Uh, mainly, it is a uh, it's very simple. It's very trivial. Uh, 
let's say uh, that you have a, a, a system that the, that the can be represented by a graph and here you have some kind of behavior of the system by using the let's say the, the current state of the art in the, in applied math you have the, you have two way to solve this problem you can train for you can train for instance a near, near artificial neural network here or a fuzz system whatever you want and the system will try to replicate the behavior of, of the system or you can design a mathematical model precisely in general when design a mathematical model it will be approximation of this so with math, the mathematical model uh, here you have for example this kind of a, of a, of bad behavior when you uh, uh, when you design a mathematical model it will be something made like this it will be a smooth curve because the mathematical model needs to have a smooth curve you need to make the derivative or all of this stuff that's it's for the classical math the best case you apply stochastic models in which you can have this kind of uh, continuity. However, still stochastic models, uh, uh, let's say, it's too complicated, and uh, uh, when it's possible, it still has its own limitations. That the data calculus has its own uh, uh, its own limitation. It's like, it, I mean, if that stochastic calculus see it for yourself. And when you apply, for example, for instance, uh, neural networks, you um, you can even model this kind of mistake as much as you want. However, uh, you know that that neural network has problem. For example, if you try to make a prediction uh, for a point that is that is that is bigger than the time that you have the sample it's, it's called extrapolation it can be a, a problem for for the system there is no way to guarantee How, uh, uh, however this kind of model it is called the white the, the white box that is designed from, from applied math they are very good except for this sort of prediction so the uh, the parallel approach is that you 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 you, you design for each of them uh, your own way. Uh, first, you try to model the system with a mathematical model, with classical math, and the second, try to model the artificial network, for instance, uh, in the computer intelligence. Then you you get both of them in a kind of co committee in which uh, both of them can contribute to the to the final system. So, so the science system have two two box. One you could math and the second one if you, if you computational intelligence. Or the question is, for example, uh, how to be sure that one model will not mess up the other. It's like it's just a challenge. So that's why the methodology is still a kind of for uh, going on research. And the sequential is very simple as well in the, the sense that you you in general for example you can when you apply uh, apply apply for a uh, classical modeling you uh, then you try to compare your classical model with uh, the data you see that uh, there is a portion of the data that your, your model cannot explain that you just neglect it so the challenge is, is to use computational intelligence to model that the uh, part that you cannot uh, that you are unable to explain so it's a it's a complementary approach so uh, here is a is a is a, is a except from the from the prototype number one which is the the sequential so the sequential is like this for example here you have the data that you are trying that you you you, you have a, a for your system somehow you you manage to have this data for example now i'm working with uh, as at this right moment i'm working with ghrelin ghrelin is all born produced by this talk mainly which is uh, ghrelin is a uh, it's is a uh, uh, say that i'm now now i'm working with uh, physiology ghrelin is a hormone it's produced by the stomach and the uh, I, all the paper that I found so far is experiment from, 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 from doctors and so on. And now I'm trying to design a mathematical model for that. So the shape of the graph of ghrelin is more or less like this. So here is when you go to sleep. So, and here's the day. Each, each of these points here that you have this kind of falling of the curve is a mu. 
so we have the first breakfast the other one is lunch and the other one is is, is dinner so it falls because once you eat you have a suppression of of ghrelin ghrelin makes you feel hunger it's called the hunger hormone so the the data in general in general they are very uh, so the the, the data uh, from the experiment uh, my mouth so far is able to explain partially the data so i'm not doing that now because uh, let's say my advisors they are not very very friendly or very even familiar with the conditional intelligence so one but maybe in the future i can try to use the same methodology here for maybe kind of model anyway we come back here uh, this kind of model i'm doing so far is here is it's called the applied model the sorry uh, sorry to mistake it's here it's, it's on a applied math so nothing there is applied math so the uh, the next step would be to to, uh, once I have the mathematical model, it should compare the mathematical model with the data, which is, is given here. So I see the data come back to this, 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 this gray, gray, gray cycle, and then you compare. The, uh, the part that I cannot explain, you can, you can apply computational intelligence. This, uh, uh, in the end, you are going to have a, a, a big model that can, be, can explain your, your phenomenon. So you have to kind of to see uh, this part here uh, that is like a, is bounded by this 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 rectangular this kind of a, of a, of blue or kind of a light blue. This one is a, is, the, is the model itself. The red one is the is the train the train step. The step in which he, in which he, that is activate just when you are when you want to have the data so uh, when you have data this this red one is activated so uh, as you see now at the moment the literature based on, uh, on artificial intelligence is very rich and the, there is a considerable a rich, huge amount of, of models being, is being proposed such as spike neural network, quantum spike network and so on the, 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 the richness of the literature is just growing so I did believe that it's time to try to make it, try to use it in the best way and math you can see that somehow math lost a lot in the in the current times, mainly because I believe in the, the era of the of the of the computer is make, is making this era such as uh, computer intelligence to get bigger and bigger. And the I think it would be very, uh, somehow even if, uh, somehow even stupid not to to make something to make math to be more closer to to this kind of technique such as the case of for example the case of PD I since I was in, a, in summer school about PD you see several problems the people trying to solve in PD the, okay I understand that people must uh, understand mathematically the, the, the stuff and the, it's very difficult but if you dedicate yourself completely to that you'll be very good but uh, sometimes I believe the people can be, can, could get some could, could, could get some uh, results some insights by using uh, these techniques that that's my point of view as a scientist so here uh, we are up to the end the, the paper is very short so just five pages and uh, i hope that the video is somehow is be useful for you to understand I, i'm really sorry that i'm quite sure that you are confused because it's not when you see something for the first time, it's never easy. I, I, I can tell for myself, when you see a new idea, a new methodology, it's always complicated and take time for you to understand, to criticize, to find the, the drawbacks. Every, every theory has a flaw, has a, and uh, that's why we, we discuss scientific work. That's why we, uh, we publish it, we publish it to our people to criticize, to see what they think, and to, uh, even to help you to find the, the, the drawbacks for the part that you, you you keep going on and the independent of any problem that you have in your approach to keep in your mind and every time you you think again about it and you find you improve it and you if you're still able to go on with your idea it means that it has sense 
uh, for, for now, as I said before, I, I like to call the middle way out approach. Maybe it will not be the best name because uh, I don't know. Uh, name is always a problem when you create a new methodology, a new idea to give a name. It's always a, a, a big problem. So it, it's a kind of interesting because I was ever since last summer school. Uh, some school in Como Lake, and the, I, I, I was seeing some, some people from, from Gene Expression. Uh, we, there was a micro ray. There, were, there was one talk, very nice talk. The guy was talking about the problem of, of integrating the mathematical models with the data. I mean, the, uh, 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 for example, Gene Expression, I have done my thesis um, in my thesis of math of science. I discuss a lot about that. There are mathematical models just for Gene Expression. However, Gene Expression is 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 based mainly on on, on experiment. You go there, you go there, and make the microarray for a specific cell or a specific disease, a cancer. Or whatever you want to do, and you get that it's a it's a huge table called a heat a heat table with data with the colors and the stri uh, stripes uh, strands of colors, and uh, you must make interpretation of that. And the, 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 this stuff must be sent to an mathematical model. Somehow this has to be transformed transformed into, into an mathematical model. That you have in your, in your in your computer, and the guy was the people was defending how it is a challenge, and indeed that that's what I'm trying to defend on my own work. That uh, it should make a you, you, uh, there are works of computational intelligence, uh, a computational intelligence is studying this kind of gene expression uh, table, and uh, I, I have not been found so far. The one that, that do at the same time the mathematics and the computational intelligence. So that that's the kind of stuff that I'm trying to to to, to achieve. So there are several references. For example, uh, this one is my own reference. The, that was uh, that was when this idea uh, was form uh, not formalized. I mean, uh, that that paper helped me to 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 open my eyes and understand that I should try to put something bigger. This, this one is a paper that I published this year, and th this paper is also supports somehow my idea because here I use just open, just open control for a kind of cursor treatment. But imagine if you could as well take into account the doctor's opinion or the experience of someone. That, that kind of uh, idea is already present in computational intelligence, such as in first system, computational intelligence, and the uh, neural network and so on. They, they have techniques to, to show. Uh, in the uh, in the uh, in this next one, which is a book, you can find a lot of examples about computational intelligence. I mean, it's a very good, it's a very interesting book because you can see computational intelligence being applied for biomedical problems and so on. It's a very, very, very interesting application. This one is a book of a classical guy from 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 artificial network. There's a book about artificial network that the guy is like the man. And uh, th this book here is not well known. I found it when I was studying uh, system identification in my PhD, the beginning of my PhD, and I found this book to study. I, f I was very surprised. And there's one one of the chapter he uh, he try he sh try to apply uh, he try to, to mixture uh, artificial network and the calm of future. It's very interesting. But I still see that he, his approach is not to exactly what I want, but it's on the way. That's why I, I make the reference. This book here recent is a very recent publication. I have my own copy. I I I I I bought it. I bought a, I bought a copy of mine just for me. And the book is very nice because I I think that the intelligent control is one of the technique that the I that is is the future because they trying to to uh, try to solve a problem that has been classically solved by by optical control classical. A control theory, and they go there and try to solve it. They use computational intelligence. For me, that's what I I I I I defend and I'm trying to do for the future. This one is a very nice book by the same guy that I, I mentioned previously, uh, from artificial network. This one is a very nice paper in which the guy uses the concept of gray box, but he uses uh, stochastic models, a stochastic difference equation. And uh, that's a kind of paper that makes that uh, can help you as well to to expand the idea for the for the, the literature of the 
of the um, applied math. This is, a, this is a book about the, this one is a very nice book about spike neural networks. And this kind of model shows uh, how the, the, the component of neural networks is growing and it's so on. This one is in the same in the same line showing that you have a lot of uh, literature on the on the area and so on. You can go 